Hello everyone, my name is Tim Brown. Welcome to my Apple podcast. Uh, for this episode, I'm going to focus on newsreaders once again. I featured newsreaders a while back in an earlier episode. And I thought I would revisit them because there have been some updates to some as well as some new newsreaders that I feel are right up there at the top. Uh, one recent update uh, to an old newsreader was uh, Early Edition. Uh, Early Edition was one of the first newsreaders that I purchased and they recently came out with the Early Edition 2. And the graphics are pretty amazing. When you first open it, you'll see this roll of newspaper in the center. And it's assembling stories. And once the stories are assembled, it will then roll out into a flat sheet of stories that looks like this. You then go through and select the article that you want to read. And it opens up that specific article. And you have several different options to share or view the article. At the top left, you can select the circle. It's like a, a Earth web kind of icon and open up the web view. When you click on the, the V-like tentacles, it's actually an option to share. So you select that and you'll get this share option and it'll look like a little brown envelope. And you select which one you want, whether it's Twitter, Instapaper, Facebook, Delicious, Read It Later, and a little circle will encase your selection. You can either choose send or cancel. Uh, you also have the option to email the link, copy the link, open in Safari, mark it as unread, or add a star to it, which enable you to read it later. You can also control the size of the font. And this is determined by the size of the letter A that you choose. Now you can take your finger as well and scroll down from the top of your iPad and a little menu will appear at the top. Of the top, uh, top right you see uh, the icons for your different settings. When you click on the icon in the top left, you'll get this menu where you can browse all of your different sections as well as your feeds. Now when you scroll up from the bottom of the iPad, this is where all of your clippings are. So all those articles that you selected, a, that you gave a star to, they're all stored right here in your clippings. And you access them by just flipping up from the bottom of your iPad and then flipping back down to return to the same menu. And when you click on the, the drawer icon in the top right, you can then go in and then up, uh, customize your feeds. And you can hit the plus sign to add new ones or to add new sections. And that's the new version of Early Edition. The next application is a classic. It's Flipboard. And Flipboard has not changed all that much. It is still as beautiful as it ever was. And you just use your right finger where it says flip and you just flip it over and it flips just like a piece of paper. And here you have the classic tile view. Again, Flipboard really has not changed. And then again, why change it? You know, if it's already great, you don't really need to change it. It's a beautiful application. Uh, one thing they did add uh, a few months ago, uh, maybe longer. I can't remember how long ago it was, but it's a relatively new feature. It's where you see the red ribbon at the top. When you select more, it'll then take you, it'll drop down this menu here. We have all these different categories to choose from, which are feeds that are already available to you. And you can choose the different topics that you like. And under each topic, will generate a series of different feeds that you can subscribe to. And then you click on each tile, of course, and then you go into uh, the section that you want to go into to read the different articles. And once you're in the articles, you can choose to respond to a post. And here the keyboard will then rise up and then you can type in your answer. Or you can choose to retweet or retweet, retweet with a comment. And then the bottom right, you can share a link, email link, read it later, view on the web, or flag as inappropriate. Now, when you, sh when you click on the share link, you can do that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. When you click on the share link, you can share it to all of your different accounts. So depending on how many accounts you have set up with Flipbook, 
Flipboard, uh, when you click on the arrow, the top left here, all of your different accounts will appear and you just select the account that you want to post the story to. It's that simple. Another reader is one of my favorites is Pulse. Again, Pulse has the classic tile view and you can just flip through with your fingers or scroll up and down to the different sections. You then tap on the story that you want. The tiles are moved over to the left and the story is flush to the right. And likewise, you can share the story by selecting the star and it is then shared in your me folder. And so when you select me, you'll see all the articles that you gave a star to that you're holding on to in case you want to read later. Again, you can post to Facebook, Twitter, and you can email the article as well. Now back in the original tile view, you can also click on the settings icon at the top left and it will open up this view. And this will give you the option to delete existing feeds or add new ones by clicking the plus sign. And then here you'll have the option to add all kinds of new feeds including featured ones or searching or browsing for new ones. And last but not least, one of my favorites, is, if, if not my most favorite right now, it's Zyta or Zeta, however you want to pronounce it, it's Z-I-T-E. And I like it a lot because you can customize it uh, to collect stories that you have a particular interest in. So as you can see to the right, I have all different categories that I've selected with the type of stories that I would like to read. And again, it's just like all the other readers, you just select the different sections that you want and the article appears. Now when you get the article, you'll have these, you have several different options. You'll notice that I'll ask you to, uh, will ask you the question, did you enjoy reading this? You'll say yes or no. It'll then begin to generate articles based on your selection in the future. I'll say give me more from, and you can also choose the different sources that you want to see articles from, and give me more about, which are keywords that will also be added to your searches. And you can likewise post to Facebook as well as Twitter. You can email. And you can even post to Evernote, which I use a lot. So I like to use uh, my clippings and articles in Evernote. So it's a convenient feature. And if you click the share button, you'll see that there are also a few more options, including Instapaper, LinkedIn, and Delicious. And like the other readers, you have the option to look at the web view or and or to enlarge the font or, or text style. Now here's a, a web view. It looks relatively the same and you can see when you click on option, you still have the same options that you had when you were in the reader view. And you can go back and forth between the web view and the reader view um, and still have the same functionality, the same ease of use. So basically the UI is smooth and, and very easy to use. And finally, this is where you can go in and add your different sections or you can search for your own to customize the kind of articles that you want to read. And with that kind of customization, that's why I kind of put Zyda right up there at the top as far as my favorite news readers. Anyway, I thank you for tuning in for this episode of Mindable Podcast. I'll see you next time.